Welcome back everyone, my name is Elton Martin, we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. We are currently in the Abyss. Um, we did kill Monago in the previous video. Oh, Alright, we have to maneuver this building down. We're going to head out in this direction, pick a lock, grab some loot. We're also going to find the store in this video as well. It's in the bar. We skipped over it last time we were there just because I wanted to go fight that one um, shadow thing to try and get a level, which we did do. We're now level 15, so that's pretty cool. And we're just going to continue walking this way, I think. In this case, we need to maneuver the buildings. This should let us get to the roof if we're at this angle. Yep. Perfect. Things are going pretty great. There's also more things to do over on that side. This way. We're going to talk to Yorgis, or Zorgis, and Zara, but also loot things first. The sound of your footsteps startles the demon. She gives you a baleful look. You have disturbed me, mortal. Why have you broken my solitude? On second thought, save your answers. Your reasons do not interest me. A boy of about twelve stands next to her. The boy examines his wrists, which are covered in strange round scars that look like they might have come from suction cups. His inflamed skin, burning eyes, and general appearance suggest that demon blood runs through his veins. He lifts his gaze and gives you a long, sad look. Who is this boy? The demon gives an arrogant snort. Zorgus is my son, the best of my offspring. He's helpful and obedient, which is the reason I condescend to take care of this wretched creature. Who are you? I am Zara the Grim, mortal worm, the most skillful explorer of the dark depths of Ishiar. I learned from Master Willidus himself, the trusted mage of Our Lady in Shadow. One day I will surpass my master's skill and take his place. Everyone knows this, including Willidus himself. So next time you dare to address me, do so with respect if you'd like your head to remain on your shoulders. Show some respect. Back on Galarian, I would have taught anyone as insolent as you some manners. The demon falls silent, was surprised, and finally answers, I don't know you. I've had no dealings with you. I've never seen you kill anyone save for these putrescent rats. Why should I respect you? Because of the stories about some strange, dull world that is of absolutely no interest to me? What are you doing? I'm listening to the ocean, and waiting for this worthless whelp to recover enough strength to plunge back into Ishiar's depths. What a shame that I cannot walk its paths myself. How ironic that the most coveted mysteries are revealed only to the most pitiful of creatures, mortals. You right, kid? The boy flinches as you speak to him. He looks at you with amazement, perhaps even fear. Then his eyes dart to the demon. Mother, may I speak to him? The demon's voice holds suspicion and anger. Don't speak to the boy. What do you want with him? Are you plotting to steal him away? Be warned, if you lay a finger on him, you'll regret it. I believe it would be inadvisable to stray from our mission for the sake of interfering in this matter. Do as you please with him. Why should I interfere? Indeed, why would you care about his miserable life? Truth be told, I don't either. The moment he ceases to be useful, I'll discard him or kill him. Your prudence will be rewarded. This talkative brat, the demon gives the boy a menacing glare, often returns with curiosities gifted to him by Ishiar on his travels. I study them to better understand the ocean. Perhaps some of them would be of interest to you. I'm willing to part with them as a sign of goodwill. Our mission calls on us, yet I regret you chose not to intervene. Show me what he managed to pull out of the Ishiar. So we do have a store. Reckless Vengeance. Minus 4 AC penalty, and when an ally is knocked unconscious or dead, they get an extra 2 attacks per round. For 2 rounds. Interesting. Realm Protector is full plate plus 4, and gets into stacking DR2 damage reduction 2 for every dead outsider in a 30 foot area. Interesting. It's not a very good item, just to be honest, but let's sell some stuff. We have so much random junk that we are now carting around. Get rid of that, get rid of those, and that, and that. I'm never going to use a Falcata. Get rid of the Kukris. Get rid of the Great Axe and a Felchin. So many random junk items. Hide armor plus four, chain shirt plus two, chain shirt plus one, breastplate plus three and two, and some heavy shields, and a buckler ray of negation, which I guess we can get rid of now. Mithril plate plus three we can get rid of, because we have better armor. Seasoned assassin's armor, plus four, studded armor, and you have total concealment against all ranged attacks. Whenever you receive a critical hit, you gain damage resistance for 1d3 rounds. However, receiving a critical hit in melee makes you prone for one round. That could be good or really bad, depending on how well that, uh, how well you can keep yourself away from melee combat. 
We now have 833,992 gold. That's actually quite a lot. Midnight Isles, the abyssal realm of Noctacala, can be found in Ishiar, the great ocean of the abyss. So we are up top. I don't know what these little portal-y thingies are, so we're going to leave them alone for now. I guess we don't really need to go to the bar at the moment. We got the loot that we needed. A group of dirty beggars in tattered clothes have gathered around a handsome young man with messy dark hair. The crowd is obviously hostile, but he doesn't seem to notice. He gives the beggars a charming smile, completely oblivious to the sharp shivs glinting in their hands. Jokot. The young man has a glove puppet on his hand, a dragon made of rags with buttons for eyes. He raises it up and begins to ventriloquize in a surprisingly deep voice. Hey, you lousy parasites. Who's in charge here? The young man lowers his puppet and begins and beams cheerfully. He addresses the crowd normally in a warm, friendly voice. I'd like to invite your leader to a romantic dinner with candles. I'll pay for everything, of course. Do not interfere. The beggars whisper among themselves. You manage to catch a few snippets of their conversation. He's crazy. Leave him be. And what if he bites you before the crowd disperses? The young man jots something down in his notebook. And he's gone. I don't know where he wandered off to. Let's follow him. No secrets can escape Ding. My pride. There's a trap up top there. There are two traps up top there. Uh, this is back to the bar, so we can actually go into the Bad Luck Tavern. And we need to, because we need to go to the other side to get to the rooftops. So we'll quickly jump into the tavern, and we'll go around the other side. And up to the roof. Alright, commoners, beggars, a giant crystal thing. There's a guard that is clearly just death. There's a lot of guards that are terrifying looking. Okay. Ember's up here with... The, I can't do... I'm stuck staring at a building. Did I just break the game? I literally can't see anything that's going on. Hello, game? Oh, there we go. Walking down the street in Elishinaire, you see Ember. She's sitting on the ground surrounded by demons, shielding a scrawny babao who looks like he's been beaten. Why are you doing this to him? You're hurting him. Hey, little ragamuffin will beat you up too. Who are you anyways? I'm, I'm just a mortal. Weak and silly compared to you, I'm a mayfly. One moment I'm here, the next I'm gone. But you better listen to what I tell you because I've lived more than you have. Ember, you're only a hundred years old. By demon standards, you were born yesterday. How could you have lived longer than they have? She smiles. But it's true, I'm not lying. It's quite easy to prove. The demon is draw close to the girl and look her over with contempt. What's with all the riddles? What do you mean he lived more than us? It's very simple. I haven't learned ver or I haven't lived very long, but I have friends, those I can protect. Those who are glad to see me. There are many sad things, but I still know that happiness what happiness is. But you bite beating, biting, fearing, hating each other. Are you really happy? And if you aren't, is this any kind of life? So yeah, I've lived a lot, but you spend centuries and centuries without really living. Bah, this mortal bread is this lump of meat is going to preach to us. The demon gives a predatory sniff, bends down, and shows off a mouth filled with sharp teeth. You know what makes me happy? Gobbling up tasty pieces of meat like you. Ember looks at him serenely. She reaches out and strokes his horned head with her burned palm. Poor thing, you're so hurt and scared all the time. You feel a bit better for a while when you torture others and forget about your suffering. But is that really happiness? The demon recoils from her touch. There's a combination of surprise and terror on his fearsome face. Are you crazy or something? The demons center on Ember. Their faces show caution and rapacious interest. It's clear that they are slightly afraid of the strange girl who shows no fear, but at the same time, they see no obvious threat. I warn you, this girl is under my protection. If anyone so much as touches her, they won't be leaving here in one piece. The demons cautiously look you over. No one's going to touch her. What? What would you want with a little runt like that? Come on now, little one. Keep telling your lies. What were you saying? Love, friendship, that sort of drivel? She's a witch. Probably wants to sell us something. Some magical potions or herbs. Come on, show us what, what do you have. What? No, not selling anything. I just wanted to tell you how much you're missing. I mean, you're free. Freer than anyone in the world. But use this freedom to make life miserable for yourself and everyone else. Just think how much happier you could be. Ember keeps preaching. The demons listen, occasionally interrupting with laughter and obscene jokes. Finally, they grow bored and walk away. They left. Do you think they understood anything? These are not humans. Demons are evil by nature. Words can't change that. 
But sometimes demons do repent and angels do fall. Their natures are not all powerful. You know, I was thinking. I tried sending prayers to the demon lords. I tried talking to demons on the street. But one of the demon lords lives right in this city. Noctacola, right? What if I tried to talk to her? Not through prayer, but in person. You're going to meet her sooner or later, aren't you? Please take me with you. I'm sure if we meet face to face, like you and I are talking right now, I'll be able to convince her to stop being so mean. You'll take me to her. Promise? The camera angle made that a very uninteresting thing visually. Being as we were kind of like stuck staring at the silhouette of a building, but whatever. Uh, there's a lore religion check here. Let's save. A success worthy of praise. The symbols inscribed on the wall belong to the language of the Titans, the first creations of the gods and themselves the creator of the sinister Demodans. There's also something here that we can put in here, but I don't know what it could be. We don't have anything in our inventory that allows us to do anything with it. We could climb to this rooftop, but let's just finish exploring this little area first. There's lots of guards and stuff around. I'm just kind of curious to see what's going on here. There's a door. That's the Bad Luck Tavern, so we can climb up here through the tavern as well. It would appear. No secrets can escape my prying gaze. Where'd that trap spawn? Oh, it's way up top there. Okay. So if we go here, let's see if any camera angles. allow us to go up top there. It doesn't appear so. It is maybe possible that we can go up there from this side. No, maybe not. I don't know. We'll take a look around some more pollutionary guests. My legs carry me. Some more beggars, some slaves, some commoners. Someone just had magic thingies. Can quickly move cameras around a little bit to see if anything moves up here. No. Okay. Backwards, backwards. Uh, I don't think we can actually go on there yet. There's an Abercandalu wrecker. There's a lot or knowledge world check Let's here. What the hell? We just got attacked randomly. Apparently they don't like us very much. It's fine. The hell beg me to stop. Not really all that concerned about this fight, to be honest. I'll cut you wide open. Intoxicated demon leader apparently is wanting to die. Meat is not an option. Nenio's gonna die. At least she didn't fully die, I guess. Uh, let's kill the Eliminator. You're fine, Darren. Can't be instead. Uh, Camellia can fight the Sheer. This isn't Camellia, this is Darren, so let's heal everyone a little bit. Windwog, shoot the Huntress. For me. Or miss all your attacks, that also works, I guess. Uh, spirit weapon. The Take out the shear. Rigil, Abyssal Hunter's time. Main character, Abyssal Hunter's time. I see your entrails, please? Okay. Well. There was a Cambian bard with some magical gear. It's all just like plus whatever weapons, nothing named or special. The intoxicated demon had a bow called Deadeye though, plus four axiomatic longbow, which is going to be good for Wendwog. Wait, is this shortbow? No, longbow. Okay, good. I thought it said shortbow for a second. I was like, hold up. Now that's actually terrible. Oh, where is it? Not that one. Deadeye. There it is. Bloop. Better bow. Yes, Delamere's bow is really good. Um, where'd it go? Oh, we have seven composite longbows we're just sitting on. Did I not put Delamere's bow on? Oh, well, whatever. Windwog equipped it anyways. Knowledge roll check. 
That's what we came here for to start with. The signs on the wall here indicate that a drug merchant can be found here. In the abyss, there are many poisons that can plunge immortals and even demons into nightmares. Alright, that's good to know, I guess. We do have another rooftop we can get up to, so maybe we should go do that. Trail me. That's the Bad Luck Tavern. So I have like an extreme amount of glare on my screen today. Even my blinds closed, it's kind of annoying. Uh, where did that go? It's back this way? Here it is, right there. Athletics check. This condition is really? Rational. You have like plus. You needed to roll a five. Come on, my dude. Give me up to the roof right now. I thought you didn't want to lose me. What'd we roll that time? Two fours in a row. Super. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, we made it up to the top. It's mobility to get back down, by the way. Already. And it's way less of a DC. Apparently going down is easier than going up, I guess. This way. Let's lockpick this chest. I am helpful, am I not? Librarian's cloak. Plus ten competence bonus to use magic device and increases the effective caster level of four by four when using scrolls. It's neat. Looks like these rooftops can be used to bypass the guards and get to the streets above. That is a way up for sure, but we're not gonna go do that yet. Are we going to fall down and die? No, we actually made it down safely. We're not done yet, though. We got treasures to get to. There's a lot of loot that we got to be able to figure out how to get to. And it's all really complicated, because you have to, like, go up weird buildings, and then there's... I got to figure out how to get onto some of these platform areas to start with. I think we go there. So it's from this side. Wait, where are we? Are we stuck? No, okay. There's definitely things zumping up here. We can, we should probably try to figure out how to get up there. So let's look around. There's got to be a path. I would have thought there'd be something here, but apparently not. So that moves that one up and down. Let's get back down. So that opens something there. This might be the most confusing place we've ever explored. I might uh, pause and just kind of play around with this area a little bit until I can figure out where to go. I did it. I don't think Monago's hideout has a weight up or down places, unfortunately. What if we go on top of this thing, right? And then turn the camera. Other way? Till it rises. Okay. Maybe we can't when it's down? Doesn't look like we can stand on it while it's... Oh, or when it's down. We'll see. Quick, quick. Else we Just put one person on it. Nope. If you're on it, it doesn't move. Okay. Huh. Like this one, I still have no idea how to get up to. Although I saw, I thought I saw like a, yeah. Oh, that's just the wall down below us, right? Okay. okay. 
Never mind, never mind. Don't go down there. Maybe we have to go in these things? But how do we get into these things? There's gotta be one that we can access, right? Go back up to here. There's a couple of them around there. There's gotta be one on like a street level. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Nothing that we can deal with at the moment. If we go here and then here, no, nope, can't go there. Yeah, this is a bit of a confusing hodgepodge of stuff. I'm gonna, yeah, play around and then maybe if I figure it out, I'll show you guys in the next video. Maybe it's possible we can't go through them because there's these weird chalk outlines on the door. Like, this looks like a door we could enter, right? But it's not for us at the moment. Oh, can we go up to here now? Turn this way. This way. No, okay. That's back to the bad luck tavern. What's this say? The flow of lava rushing through Elishnir to the ocean originates somewhere at the top of the sea. Okay. A million traps and stuff to deal with. Oh, a sturdy door locked and covered with frightening carved pictures. Trickery 40. I only needed to roll a 3. Couldn't do that, so let's try that again. <laughs> we have plus 38. Or, sorry, plus 37. By rolling a 2, we rolled one of two numbers. That wouldn't work. That's better. This. To the rotten guttery. Do I know what that is? I have absolutely no idea what that is. No secrets can escape my pride. There's a door here. Huh? What's that? And there's a trap there. Which I can't really see very well. But I think it leads to here, so we can at least lock it from here. I am helpful, am I not? And by that I mean detrap it from here. This way. Let's go into the room. Uh, what do I spy? Yes, I see all the things. I am helpful, am I not? It's a bow called Feral Charge, plus four speed, small bow. If the wielder of this short bow has an animal companion or similar creature, it's affected by a constant haste spell effect. Nifty. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. One of the cooler items we've run into before. My legs carry me. And that appears to be it for this little place. Well, there we go. We found a neat little thing. Our other group's going to spend a little more time lockpicking that door because I think the trickery is like 33 for that group. Something like that. It's still high, but it's not 37 high. Apparently it has some really good lockpicking skills. But yeah, I'm going to play around with this place, see if I can figure out how to do what I want to do. It's a bit of a confusing area. And then when I figure out some of it, maybe I'll I'll try and show you guys if I can remember call how to do it, or alternatively, I will uh, just show you what you can get by doing it. I'm also gonna check one thing. My game seems super de duper dark. Let's give it a tiny bit of more light so we can actually see what's going on a little bit. It might also just be sudden clear. So, all right. For now, though, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.